Did you cheat on your keto diet on Easter and now you're panicking because you don't know how to get back into ketosis? Watch this video to learn five easy tips to get you back into fat burning mode. With the big bunny hopping through town last Sunday, I'm sure at least one of you watching this video saw your kids a huge basket of glorious Easter candy and dug right in without a second thought about your keto diet. Even if there's only one person watching this video, it wouldn't shock me if that one person fell off track once the smell of giant milk chocolate bunnies filled the air. Okay, hopefully there's more than one person watching this video. Say hello in the comments so I know that there's more than one person watching. Now, if you fell off track this Easter, whether the hollow chocolate bunnies were just too tempting to resist, or if you ended up loading up your dinner plate with all of the mashed potatoes and corn you could stuff into your face, many people go into such occasions with the intention of not cheating, and then their minds start to remember how delicious those carbs taste, and then they realize the quick energy boost that they can get from those carbs and before they know it, their physiology takes over and they are face first in a bag of Starburst jelly beans. We all understand that eating such sugary treats is going to kick us right out of ketosis. And who knows what other high carb temptations that might lead to or how else we might spiral out of control. So the obvious answer is stay away from Starburst jelly beans. But just because an answer seems obvious, that doesn't always mean that's what happens with life. If you're following keto, you know by now that sometimes cheating even just a little bit can completely wreck your diet, at least for a few days. If you did have a big old cheating bunny day, there's no judgment. I am going to help you get right back on track with keto with five easy suggestions to get you back into ketosis. Suggestion number one, just get back to it. Even if you had a slip up on Easter or any other day, don't beat yourself up. Berating yourself or punishing yourself mentally does nothing but hurt your progress. One of the best things you can do to regain steam on your keto plan is to get right back to keto with your very next meal. At the very least, the day after Easter is a Monday and we all know how dieters like to start fresh on Monday, so yesterday was your perfect chance to recommit. If your brain was too foggy to recommit because you were out of ketosis, then today, with your very next meal, just get right back to your keto plan. Of course, this isn't something that you're going to want to do all of the time. Remember, eating too many carbs with too much fat is a recipe for weight gain. If you're still cheating on keto every weekend, definitely check out my book, How to Succeed on Keto Without Really Trying. I explain in the book how you can get past that urge to cheat all the time, once and for all, so you can find lasting success with keto long term. You can find the book at eatingfatisthenewskinny.com slash books. Suggestion number two. If you were kicked out of ketosis because you had a cheat meal and you want to know the quickest way to get back in, one option you have is to fast longer that day. If you're already using intermittent fasting as a tool to get to your goal, this part will be easy. Just push your fast a little longer that day to help your body get back to burning stored fat. Now, if you haven't begun fasting or you're not very fat adapted yet, this might not be the right option for you. Forcing a fast that your body isn't ready for because you're not yet fed adapted can actually cause a major stress to your body. And stress is one of those things that can put you back into fat storing mode. Suggestion number three. Another easy way to get your body back into fat burning mode more quickly is by performing high intensity interval training. Now, if you're not sure what that is, it's a workout that's typically less than 20 minutes where you push yourself anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds and then you recover with a lighter pace for one to three minutes. You continue this routine for up to 20 minutes. The goal with these workouts is to really push yourself during those 10 to 30 seconds. 
Basically, you want to feel like you're ready to die by the end of the intense interval. And then you want to spend your full recovery at a much slower pace. Now, if you've used any of these suggestions to get back into ketosis, comment below and let me know how well they worked for you. But if these tips aren't right for you, I still have two more suggestions that could be right. Suggestion number four, you can go for a fasted walk. If a high intensity interval training workout isn't your thing, I don't want you to get hurt attempting something that's not right for your body. And there is another way. Going for a fasted walk can really help ramp up fat burning ketones, so that's one more trick you can try to help your body get back into fat burning mode. My final suggestion, number five, eat more fat. Of course you're going to want to get back to cutting your carbs very low in order to help your body get back into ketosis, but you'll also want to eat more fat to help your body see that enough nutritional fat is coming in so it's willing to let go of some of your stored body fat. There you go. Now you have five easy suggestions to get back into ketosis after a cheat day. If you want even more tips about how to live your best keto life, check out my free guide. I give you the five best tips that I use to lose more than 100 pounds. You can get that at eatingfatisthenewskinny.com slash free guide. I'll also add the link below. If you got any useful information from this video, please be sure to like, comment, and share it with your friends to help me spread the word. That way, I'll know which videos help you the most so I can make more like this. All right, I'll see you again next Tuesday with more helpful tips to help you stay on track with your low-carb or keto diet.